I've got a new lens for my Muse Galvo. Stick around and I'll show you how to install this lens and program the software. We're gonna need a few things before we continue. Make sure you have yourself some of these metal business cards. They're very useful for your future engravings and will help you dial in settings and test your projects. Also, you're gonna need a good ruler like this that starts with the zero millimeters at the edge. You're gonna also need a sheet of metal, a flat piece, probably about eight inches by eight inches will be good. And lastly, you're gonna need a piece of plain white paper. Let's begin. Swapping out the lens is actually gonna be really easy. All you gotta do is unscrew the old one and screw the new one in its place. Now make sure when you're unscrewing it, you're just unscrewing this edge and you leave the shroud in place. And just screw the new one in its place. So if you're missing something from the software or something's different than what I'm about to show you, go ahead and contact our support team and they'll be able to push you a new update. Once RE3 is loaded, go ahead and make sure the workspace is clear and take a camera capture. Find the measurement for your installed lens by using this chart. You can also find the chart in the user manual. Using the ruler, jog the laser until the bottom of the lens is at the height listed in the chart. Take another camera capture. Now click the icon to the left of the camera capture to get the focus test settings. Select your newly installed lens from the list. Make sure the speed is set to 500 and the power is set at 10% and your increment is set to one millimeter. Place one of those little metal business cards directly under the red dot and then click Generate Test Pattern. Your laser will engrave a grid of squares at different heights. When it is done, find the first one where it began engraving and check the correlating box in the software. You'll notice some of the squares marking the surface, but not engraving. We want the first box where the edge of it is starting to turn white. Now, find the last square where it was engraved and check its correlating box as well. Once you have these two boxes checked, click the Focus Selected Results button. The laser will now be focused properly. Go ahead and run the test again to verify. Now that your laser is focused, it is time for calibration. Center your piece of plain white paper under the camera. In RE3, select the Galvo Fiber menu at the top, then Diagnostics, then Galvo Calibration. A new tab will open up. We have already completed the focus test, so let's just scroll past that. Click on Run Lens Calibration. You'll notice the camera display on your machine will go black and that the red dot will jump and dance around the paper for a while. When it's finished, the camera display will go back to normal and the red dot will return to the center. In the software, you'll now see this message that says result pass. Place your autofocus tag directly under the camera. You can look at the camera view on your machine to make sure it's in the middle. In the software, go back to the next section that says tag focus autofocus calibration. Select Take Snapshot. 
Since we know we are in focus, click on the Save Focus button. Don't worry about the Estimate Tag Dimensions button since the one that came with your machine is already correct. Make a note of the height that is shown on your laser screen. Now jog the laser head down until you are at 5 millimeters. Now take your ruler and measure the distance from your workspace to the bottom of the camera. Take this measurement, add 10 millimeters to it, and set that as your lower offset. Then push Save Lower Offset. If it is programmed correctly, it should read the same number as before you jogged it out of focus. Now your autofocus tag is calibrated. Now let's check to make sure your red dot matches up with what actually gets engraved. Back in the calibration tab that we've been working in, skip the camera rotation and offset and move to the Mark Adjustment section. This will tell the laser where you are actually marking and engraving on the material. Find the speed and power listed in the recommended sizes section and input those in the box below. Select the preview square option and place your metal sheet in the work area so the preview shows up completely on top of it. Now, when you get that lined up, push the mark square. This will draw the square on your material. After the laser marks the square on your material, do not move it. Using your ruler, measure the size of the square to see if it matches the size that it shows in the calibration window. It's okay if it doesn't match, we will just enter the dimensions that we measure into the boxes below. And then select Save Mark Adjustment. Now let's move the material slightly and engrave that square again. Now measure it one more time and make sure it matches up with the size listed above the mark square button. Don't move your material. Now go ahead and click the run preview square button we want to make sure that this red line matches exactly what was just engraved. If it doesn't match up, use the buttons below to adjust accordingly so it matches with that engraving. Now that we have your new lens installed and calibrated properly, go make something fun.